Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have called it quits after six years of marriage. The couple share four children together. In December, a source told ET Kim and Kanye were having difficulties in their marriage, but were both doing their best. Quote, Kim's family will support her in any decision she makes, but she feels that the most important thing to recognize before making any choice is realizing what's best for the kids, herself, Kanye, and the rest of the family, essentially in that order. The decision to go separate ways comes after a string of highly publicized issues between the couple in 2020. On July 4th, Kanye announced he was running for president during a rally in South Carolina a few weeks later, the rapper delivered a speech saying he and Kim discussed an abortion before having their daughter North. So even if my wife were to divorce me after this speech, she brought North into the world even when I didn't want to. A source told ET at the time that Kim was upset over the speech, adding, quote, she knows this is something North will see when she gets older, and that's heartbreaking. On the night of July 20th, Kanye fired off a series of since-deleted tweets aimed at Kim and her mother, Kris Jenner, claiming they were trying to lock him up. A few days later, Kim addressed the struggles Kanye faces with bipolar disorder, writing in part, anyone who has this or has a loved one in their life who does knows how incredibly complicated and painful it is to understand. I kindly ask that the media and public give us the compassion and empathy that is needed so that we can get through this. I've seen him go through a lot and he's just the most genuine person. And you know, he might say things that might get misinterpreted and people don't see the context behind it, but I always know his heart. In May, Kim and Kanye came together to celebrate their sixth wedding anniversary. Kim captioned the post, six years down, forever to go until the end. The former couple publicly stood by each other's sides through ups and downs throughout the years. I mean, we love each other's opinions and we definitely rely on each other for each other's opinions when we're working on things. The two met back in 2003 and remained friends until they started dating in 2012. Kim and I have been best friends for a really long time and just been in each other's lives and known each other for a long time and I can honestly say um, I think that's just a really good foundation for a good relationship. By December 2012, Kanye announced Kim was pregnant during a concert in Atlantic City, referring to Kim as his baby mama. Kim later confirmed the news on Twitter. Okay, so we are officially oh. yeah, going okay, through Okay, go ahead, that word. I am so excited to meet you. Your dad is on a plane in the I'll call back. Now, he's going to break mm -hmm. when he realizes he's going to be in June 2013, they welcomed their first child, daughter North. She definitely has Kanye's outgoing personality and will say whatever is on her mind, mm -hmm. no matter what it is or who it might offend. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she's also really calm and sweet, like me sometimes. Kanye proposed to Kim in front of her family and friends in October 2013. He rented out the entire San Francisco baseball stadium and proposed to her on her 33rd birthday with a stunning 15 carat diamond ring. That was the craziest experience of my life and such an amazing time. So. Did you think it was happening that night? Uh, absolutely not. I had no idea. I thought we were having dinner. And then when we walked out, I thought it was just going to be dinner. Um, out on the baseball field. I still had no idea he was going to propose. It was so surreal. In May 2014, the two were married in Florence, Italy. It's the best feeling to have your own family and kids, and it's the best. In December 2015, they welcomed their second child, son Saint. I don't know why I'm crying. I've talked about this before. Nearly one year later, in October 2016, Kim was tied up and robbed at gunpoint in Paris. They tried it the last trip, but Kanye was there and they were too scared. And then they said they saw on social media that I had this huge new ring. Just tell them I have children, like I have babies, I have a husband, I have a family, like I have to get home. Tell them take anything, I'll never say, like I saw them like take everything. The robbery had a huge impact on Kanye. Kanye said the robbery was a major factor that caused him to suffer a breakdown a month later. What's wrong? Don't scare me, please. What's going on? Like, I can't. <laughs> 
source told ET at the time that Kim was dedicated and devoted to Kanye more than ever following his hospitalization. Soon, the two would continue expanding their family, welcoming their third child, daughter Chicago, via surrogate in January 2018. And in May 2019, Kim and Kanye welcomed their son, Psalm, completing their family. Kanye and I work really hard, and I hope that's motivating for them and just to find their own path. That same month, the two renewed their vows in a private ceremony. What does it mean to you to have this family now, Kanye, and you look at your daughter, you look at your wife, and how has that fulfilled your life? It's given me a whole perspective, an understanding of what to work for, what to live for, and an understanding of how other families, you know, it does operate. Make you put things in perspective, and it does yeah. make you just, you know, like everyone goes through this, and you have no idea what it really is like until you go through it yourself. But it's the best feeling to have your own family and kids, and it's the best.